We've had a good couple of days of practice, uh, very competitive, and it's going to be that way uh, nine days from now. So we're trying to stay sharp, and guys are um, really locked in the last two days. So uh, it's good. You know, get a chance to really evaluate ourselves and put our best out there. It's, it's an entirely new season, and, um, you know, we've earned the chance to be at this moment, and we've got to take advantage of it. Hey everybody, welcome into Nesson Football Now, presented by Mimecast. I'm Courtney Cox. You just heard it from the GOAT himself. It may be a bye week for the Patriots, but this time of year is no time to rest. The Pats are putting in prep work as they await their opponent for their divisional round playoff game, which goes down next Sunday, January 13th at 1.05 p.m. at Gillette Stadium. Here's a look at who they could face. It'll be one of these three teams, the Texans, Ravens, or Chargers. The number three Texans are taking on the number six Colts. If Houston wins, they'll be the Patriots' opponent. The Pats have beaten the Texans in 10 out of 11 games since 2003, including two of two postseason matchups plus the opener this season. If the Texans lose to the Colts, then the Pats will take on the winner of Ravens versus Chargers. Baltimore has the number one ranked defense in the NFL, and John Harbaugh's squad has been known to give the Pats some postseason troubles, winning two out of four playoff games at the Razor in the past decade. Meanwhile, the Chargers won 12 games this season, seven of those victories coming on the road, but in two previous playoff meetings with the Bolts, the Patriots have never lost. So, with playoff appearances being a perennial occurrence for the Patriots here in New England, fans may forget that the postseason shouldn't be taken for granted. But with the work the players put in, the Patriots certainly do not. But everything is brand new. And for me, going through nine seasons before being able uh, to experience this, uh, I'm enjoying every moment of it. And like you said, savoring the moments, uh, being able to go out to practice today, um, being able to come into work, have breakfast with the guys, where typically um, I'm already, if you flew home or you did whatever you're doing for the offseason. So I'm um, definitely trying to savor each and every moment. I think more important than savoring it is making sure I'm trying to get better each and every moment uh, to be able to play my best. You know, it's... Uh... I'm just fortunate to be – I don't know what it's like not to be in playoff football. And, uh, you know, it's a pretty crazy thing when you think about it. You know, I've got buddies around the league who played, you know, multiple years and played in one playoff game or things like that. So I think this is a – it's just naturally a, a, a level of intensity that, you know, you can't really emulate at any other point in the season and really for us any other point in our life. It's um, – you know, we all work hard to get to this point and to have an opportunity like we have, I don't think you take them for granted. All right, for more from Foxborough, we turn now to our Patriots beat writer Doug Kide for this week's mailbag. Hello and welcome to this week's mailbag presented by Mimecast. I'm Doug Kide. If you have a question for me, tweet it to me at Doug Kide using the hashtag maildog and I will try to answer it. First question here comes from Kyle Pereira who asks, who would you rather take on in the divisional round? Who matches up best for the Patriots? I think the best matchup is actually the Houston Texans to fight, despite the fact that they are the number three seed in the AFC playoffs. I think that either the Baltimore Ravens or the Los Angeles Chargers are just a little bit more dangerous. Helps also the Patriots already beat the Texans here behind me at Gillette Stadium in week one. Obviously that was a little bit of a different Texans team, but still the Patriots have beat them this year. Selfishly though, that's kind of a boring matchup. I feel like the Patriots play the Texans every year in the playoffs. I feel like they play them two or three times a year anyway. So I think a more exciting matchup would be the Ravens or Chargers. But if the Patriots do want to advance to the Super Bowl, I think the best matchup would be the Texans in the divisional round because I actually think that either the Ravens or the Chargers could beat the Chiefs in Kansas City. And if that happened, if the Patriots beat the Texans, then the AFC Championship game would be here in Foxborough. And that's obviously an ideal situation for the Patriots. Thanks, Doug. Now, by Tom Brady standards, Tom Brady had a bad year. The Pats QB threw 29 touchdowns, his fewest since 2013. But the GOAT's less than peak performance didn't stop his number 12 from flying off the shelves. TB12 had the NFL's top selling jersey, no surprise here, beating out the likes of MVP candidates Drew Brees and Patrick Mahomes, as well as defensive phenom Khalil Mack. And in other notable achievement news, former Patriot Richard Seymour and Ty Law have been named Pro Football Hall of Fame 2019 finalists. 
That's it for this episode of Nesson Football Now presented by Mimecast. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you next week. Bye, guys.